Hi everyone. Uh, we're going to be looking at a little, little uh, set, if you can call it a set. It's a minifig with a horse. Uh, this set came out back in 1998. Uh, it was titled Samurai Swordsman, set number 6013. It, on Bricklink it says it has seven parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Maybe Bricklink's wrong. I, I count eleven if you take apart the minifig and the, and the nice little poly uh, flag on it. Uh, so this set was raid, rated uh, five to ten back then. Uh, they actually had five to ten, not just uh, say four and up or nine and up. This was ranged five to ten. Uh, this set was part of a not really that good Lego set. This is, sorry, series. I apologize. It was called Ninja. Not Ninjago. Ninja. A lot of the molds that were brought out for the Ninja series later on ended up showing up in Ninjago. So this is sort of the grandfather, father, mother of Ninjago, well, ancestor of Ninjago. Uh, so if you love Ninjago, you might want to pick up some of these, you might not. They were really not that good of a set, uh, series. Uh, the designs were pretty mediocre. Uh, let's take a closer look at this now. <laughs> so here's an up-close view of the uh, Samurai Swordsman, uh, Horseman. There we go. I'll take him off. Now, he's actually got chrome uh, on his helmet here. That's actual chrome. They stopped manufacturing items with chrome for... Quite a few years now. Then you have his helmet. He's got white hair, little sideburns. Oh, let's see if I can focus that in. There you go. Nice little face. Not two. He doesn't have two faces. He comes with a katana. This is one of the first times these katanas were actually. Oh, I just dropped it. <laughs> Sorry about that. So yeah, th this is when the mold came about was under ninjas not ninjago but ninjas but then they've used this countless times in ninjago which is okay parts apart so if i take off his head they've used this part this armor in ninjago as well that's a pretty neat looking armor and underneath Ooh, focus. There we go. Got nice sort of gold paint on there. Nothing on the back. That's fine. You just cover it up anyways. The fact that they even do that, have it show through, that's pretty cool. And he even has his uh, little uh, tiny knife katana. I can't remember the name of them. You know, for if they have to do seppuku or, you know, open up their mail. Or something. <laughs> I'm joking about the second part, of course. All right. So, and then the horse. This is a horse, of course. Uh, this style of horse has been around for a long time since the '80s, and it's held up. Uh, sorry, the banner is just like a, a plastic polymer vinyl thing and it's held up with an old medieval lance so that's all of the parts let's see if we can put him back together let's put his armor back on just like that ah, there you go we have his cool helmet there oh yep yeah, he needs his sword wow Okay, okay, so back to final conclusions here again. So, 
mm, this isn't really a set. <laughs> you got your swordsman, you got your horse. I guess it's a set. Nothing really to build. Didn't come with any brick bricks. Uh, so uh, I love this set myself. I, I Like I said, I picked it up off of the shelf uh, years ago and it just caught my fancy. And it's just really a nice little set. It's been on my desk for years. Uh, it's one of my oldest Lego sets that I've ever uh, purchased, uh, other than the ones that I had when uh, I was younger back in the 90s. So, 80s. <laughs> now I'm dating myself. I apologize. Um, so, overall, love the set. If you want, to, Like I said, if you want to call it a set. Um, I hope you liked uh, watching this video. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, you have a great day. Thank you. Bye.